Welcome to Coffee Break, Five Minutes with God, Five Minutes in the Word of God, Five Minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good. Reading today from Proverbs chapter 5, verse 15, where God says, Drink waters out of your own cistern and running waters out of your own well. And he has been talking about in previous verses sexual sin. So here, God sort of shift, shifts gears somewhat. He not only gives us the negative, meaning that he not only says, do not do this or do not do that, but God, you know, he always gives us an alternative to sin. He has been talking about sin in the previous verses and the negative aspects of given into temptation, sexual sin. Here he gives us the alternative. Right here. God says, God says, if you want to have a good life, then let every husband find satisfaction with his own wife within the purity of the marriage relationship, which is always between one man and one woman. He continues in verse 16. Should your fountains be dispersed abroad, and rivers of water in the streets, let them be only for your own and not for strangers with you. The rivers of waters refer to children. Families are messed up today because children are divided like a piece of pie. They belong to the father and the mother, and they belong to the father's family, and then the mother's family, they belong to the mother's parents, and then they belong to the father's parents. Christmas is like a, a whistle stop tour because you're trying to make all the rounds to all the relatives, and you got so many of them. You got so many grandparents, and you got so many parents. It's, like I said, a, a whistle stop tour. And that's a far cry from God's best, where you're home with your family with your mom, your dad, your husband, your wife, grandparents, and you leave it at that, and everybody's together, and it's the way God wanted it to be in the first place. There's less confusion, certainly less strife, and less stress on the kids. Verse 18. Let your fountain be blessed and rejoice with the wife of your youth. The fountain refers to a man's wife. God says, find your joy in an exclusive relationship with your wife and it will be satisfying to you. Now, unfortunately, it does take two to make it work. And if one has no regard for that relationship or for their partner, their husband or their wife, well, then it's going to end up in a divorce court and God leaves it out and it's divorce. He hates divorce, but sometimes it is the lesser of two evil. And because of unfaithfulness, and all the sin that's in the world today, it often happens. It's not good, but it often happens. Verse 20, 19, I should say. Let her be as the loving deer and graceful doe. Let her breast satisfy you at all times and be ravished always with her love. And why will you, my son, be infatuated with an immoral woman and embrace the bosom of a seductress? That's a good question. God says, there's no good reason at all for a man to wrap his arms around some loose woman who's carrying who knows how many viruses because of her sexual immorality in the past. There's no reason for a man to do this if he has a woman who loves God because he can wrap his arms around her. A man is a fool if he does anything other than that. You know, all these situations would be fixed if every man and every woman, every husband and every wife followed the Lord and put Jesus first, then they would love each other. And the sexual act would be a natural outcome of loving each other. And they would find more satisfaction in that and wouldn't even be tempted to go looking for somebody on the street. We'll stop right there. Study all of God's word with me at thebibleversebyverse.com. Choose, click, and listen from four complete series going through the whole Bible. If you'd like to be a part of Coffee Break, and scripture verse by verse you can be by praying for me and God's word. And when you take a break from studying with me at the thebibleversebyverse.com, go to the front page, click the donate button, and prayerfully give us a Lord may lead. That makes you a part of this ministry as well.
Shalom.